This video will demonstrate the procedure for insertion of Vigon Smart Midline using a direct Seldinger technique under ultrasound scan guidance. This midline is indicated for patients undergoing IV therapy for up to 29 days. You must be familiar with aseptic non-touch technique principles, which will apply throughout this procedure. Contraindications to performing this procedure include patient refusal, overlying infection, and unsuitable patient vessels. The risks of performing this procedure include bleeding, infection, thrombosis, phlebitis, arterial puncture, and damage to adjacent tissues. Please also confirm that the patient is in a clinical area where staff are trained in midline care. First, gather your equipment. You will need a procedure pack, Vigon Smart Midline, ultrasound scanner, one-way valve, blood gas syringe, ultrasound sterile probe cover, normal saline, local anaesthetic, grip lock dressing, 2% chloroprep, tourniquet, and IV advanced dressing. You will also need a surgical mask and hat and a sterile gown and gloves. As this is a sterile procedure, you will need an assistant to help you with unpacking sterile equipment, applying the tourniquet, and using the ultrasound scanner. Please note some clinical areas will have integrated midline packs containing all the equipment in a single pack. Whenever possible and available, use the BioConnector TKO to improve the patency of the line. Introduce yourself to the patient and obtain verbal consent. And this is a type of catheter that we insert into one of the long veins in your arm. And once in, we can use it to give IV fluid and medication for up to 29 days. It's a very safe procedure, but the complications do include bruising, bleeding, infection, and very rarely it can cause a blood clot. Are you happy for me to proceed? Yes, thank you, doctor. Do you want to ask any questions? Uh, no, thank you. I'm fine. Thanks. Using the ultrasound machine, identify a suitable vein for midline insertion. Commonly used veins are the cephalic and basilic veins. In practice, the brachial vein lies very close to the brachial artery and is usually avoided. You can differentiate between an artery and a vein by compressing the vessel with the ultrasound probe and looking for pulsation. Choose an insertion point proximal to the antecubital fossa to avoid mechanical obstruction of the midline. Prepare your sterile field on a clean procedure trolley. Your assistant should open sterile equipment onto your sterile field, checking all packaging for expiry dates. Flush your midline with sterile normal saline. And apply your ultrasound sterile probe cover. Ask your assistant to apply a tourniquet to the patient's upper arm. Clean the skin with chloroprep and allow to dry before proceeding. Place your sterile field over the area where you identified a suitable vein. Inject a few mils of local anaesthetic, usually 1% lidocaine, into the skin at the point where you will insert your needle. Place your ultrasound probe on the patient's arm and using an out of plane approach, insert your midline needle at a right angle to the probe until you get flashback. Try to keep the tip of the needle in view on your ultrasound screen at all times. Insert the midline wire through the needle. It should pass easily through the needle and up the vein. If it does not pass easily, try gently rotating the wire. Once the wire is passed, remove the needle over the wire, being careful that the wire is not pulled out during the process. Place your ultrasound probe back on the patient and identify the wire in the vein, then turn your ultrasound probe through 90 degrees and identify your wire in the vein in the longitudinal axis. Slide your dilator over the wire and into the vein. 
gently rotate if necessary, and leave in situ for 30 seconds. Remove the dilator over the wire, again being careful not to remove the wire. Please note that the patient may bleed when the dilator is removed, so it is advisable to have some sterile gauze to hand. Then slide your midline over the wire and all the way into the vein. Remove the wire from inside the midline, leaving the midline in place. Close clamp after flushing. Once the wire is removed, check with a syringe that the midline can be aspirated and flushed using sterile saline. Once this is done, ask your assistant to remove the tourniquet. Attach your one-way valve and flush the midline with 10 ml of normal saline using a push-pause technique. Secure the midline with a grip lock and IV dressings. No stitching is advised. Attach the midline label to the midline, then clear away your equipment, ensuring any sharps are disposed of safely in a sharps bin, as per UHB waste policy. Thank the patient and document the insertion clearly in the patient notes using the removable sticker from the midline pack. Make sure you hand over to nursing staff looking after the patient that you have inserted a midline and its location. Thank you for watching. For more details, including sizing of midlines, how to choose a suitable line insertion site and aftercare instruction, please follow the links below.